right, YouTube, 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 what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a hunt in a while, so I don't know I'm talking like that, but um, I need to go pick up a few things. I need to pick up some wire from Lowe's because I want to try to make my own flight stands. Try. Let's see how it, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, and I need to pick up the remaining issues of Doomsday Clock that I haven't read yet. So go stop by my local comic book store and yeah I, f I figured i'd hunt uh what i'm looking for surprisingly is marvel legends yes um like i know like i said before i i was getting out of marvel legends i'm still like not into marvel legends as much but some of them lately have been have been really like pretty pretty good i'm not gonna lie have been like exceptionally well mind-blowing so i figured i'd probably pick up a few um i don't know when this video is gonna go up but the Endgame Wave 2 just went up for pre-order. And uh, so the War Machine I wanted originally, but someone posted that meme of how he looks like Kermit the Frog. So now I don't know about that. But Beta Ray Bill, I've always been a fan of Beta Ray Bill. I don't I don't remember why, but I remember um, watching, I think like what, like some, what, the Marvel animated series, like the Avengers animated series, like TV show. And I, I don't remember, okay? I don't, I don't remember fully. I just know that I was I was always into the Beta Ray Bill character, and when the game for the PlayStation 2, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I remember playing him a lot. So I'm excited for the Beta Ray Bill. I actually might really want to get that. And the classic Loki, just the Loki character in general, I think he's pretty cool. The God of Mischief. So yeah, I don't know. I I, I think I'm I think I'm trying to get sucked back into Marvel Legends. So yes, I know, call me hypocrite, call me, call me whatever, but right now I'm on a hunt for Marvel Legends. So sit back, relax, let's see if I can find anything. So first stop is Target, and there's nothing, some old wave, Infinity War, Captain Marvel. Yeah, it's pretty dry. They got the Overwatch figures, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. They look nice, but I was never a real big Overwatch player. So, here's the DC Primal, some basic figures, Two-Face. The Riddler, oh, that looks cool. It's like a it's translucent plastic, whoops. And then that armored Batman, interesting, interesting. And then Multiverse, the Trash Red Box, Martian Manhunter, Basic Warmers, Goldberg, Lord Regal. So yeah, so I know a couple of people like who used to watch my hunts wanted to see some more wrestling figures. So here you go. Some Harry Potter stuff. See if there's anything. The clearance. Oh, that's not clearance anymore. Oh, there's no clear. Oh, there's clearance. Anything, anything, anything. Just the DuckTales. DuckTales 270. Not bad. You know, maybe for some accessories like binoculars and a wrench. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be it for this target. Nothing much. Multiple man storms and then kingpin wave. So it's just pedals in the back that you can program. Let's say uh, if you play like Apex, Fortnite. So as you can see, I just came in from a GameStop. Uh, this is what they have in the front. They got the loot cage, two pack, a Doc Ock right there. Um, I didn't really speak inside when I was recording just because there was a bunch of people. But you can see this is what they have on display: Captain Marvel, that Baku wave, that. Um, to what the Kane Parker Spider-Man I believe that's his name but yeah I was really hoping for the for the X-Men way I was trying to look for a beast but they said that everything that they currently had like all the like newer X-Men stuff was only for pre-order so kind of sucks second target 
and a lot more Overwatch figures are pretty decently stocked. Lucio, what is this? The Reaper, Tracer, Tracer looks cool. And then they got these two packs. And then all the end game basic. A war machine right here. And then, you know, typical stuff that's been peg warming already. So, yeah, not much there. Here you go, DC basic, multiverse already have that. Some wrestling, Bobby Roode, John Cena, Charlotte Flair, Goldberg. Oh, Eric Young, not bad. Eric Young, isn't he like pretty sought after or something? But he looks pretty dope, he looks pretty cool. I loved Eric Young in TNA, uh, like early TNA. I think like during like that Team Canada, whatever. Oh, look, the Ray. But yeah, that's it for for this target. No, no new waves. So at the McFarland NECA section, we got Jon Snow and Viserion. I've been wanting the Viserion, but it's pretty small scale. This is mainly for like a, just like a display piece. But Jon Snow, he looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't have any dios that match it. So I want him, but I don't have anything that'll fit him. So maybe for now, leave him for now. No oh, man, currently at Walmart, bunch of Shazams and one Dr. Savannah. I wonder how much he is. I might want to get him just so I can complete that because I have Shazam. More Fortnite. Fortnite's everywhere right now. A wave. I want to see the other wave. Like, I want to see what other characters they make. And then here is the Marvel Legends section. Ready? And that is the Marvel Legends section. Yeah, this, this Walmart never usually gets anything. Like, rarely. But it's nice to see they got pink, Kingpin. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't even notice that. I just noticed that right now. That's an apocalypse leg. Damn. Fig swapping at its finest, man. These people have no remorse. But yeah, the basic figures. And that's pretty much it for this side, you know. Some like more basic figures. For the new Spider-Man movie. Hot Wheels just looking. I like this. I like how it's the the 90s X-Men, the Jim Lee X-Men. That's pretty dope. More X-Men, DC, Avengers. So, yeah, that's it for that's it for this Walmart. Cool. So I just went. I just came from two Walgreens. Nothing. Struck out a lot of old older wave stuff. Didn't even. It's not even worth like filming to show what you get, what they had. Um, I did come from a GameStop. I didn't record just because I was literally like the only one in there and it was kind of awkward. So, uh, but I do, I did take a picture just to show you guys what collectibles they currently do have. So I'll put it probably right here. I saw the archive Boba Fett Star Wars. Uh, it looks cool. It looks cool, but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not really much of a Star Wars fan, but it's just cool to see. Cause I know that one, like when it first came out, it was pretty hard to get. People were trying to look for it. And then they had a bunch of um, pretty good legends. Now, I don't know if they're lying or not, because according to the GameStop app, I saw like three GameStops have certain figures in stock or it says they have it in stock. But when I try calling and inquiring about it, they say that they don't got it. So I don't know who, who knows. We'll see. Um, probably check out one more GameStop and one more Target. And that'll probably be it for the hunt. So let's check it out. At Best Buy, they got some decent stuff. Well, in terms of legend, it's all the same. They got two, three Luke Skywalkers and two General Grievous. I think that's crazy. So, for Star Wars fans, you know, that's pretty tight. But no X Men wave. So, moving along. So, stopping at Target and Super dry. 
They got the Star Force Captain Marvel, the Ray. But that's about it. That's about it for figures. Nothing much. The basic figures. They got the the Infinity Gauntlet. Some Spider Man basic. Yeah, there's a GameStop across the street, so I might go there just to check it out, see what's there. But man. So they got Viserion again. They got two. So I don't know, maybe it's a sign. But then they also got this dude. And I very well might pick him up. Just because this dude is pretty dope. Plus, I am a Game of Thrones fan. And, you know, the Night King is pretty cool. You know. So, yeah. They're. The Legends is kind of, uh, meh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up, so, not a total loss here. There's a bunch of Detective Pikachu stuff I want, I don't know, I want to start collecting kind of like Pokemon cards or do like unboxings or unpackagings, but, I don't know, it's not really my thing, but, you know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. There's Tracer again, Reaper, Sombra, and then another song bro so all right all right guys so as you can see i'm back home in my office don't mind the black uh sweater i was taking a few pictures earlier but i went to my GameStop, and there was there was a couple good things they had the mbaku uh wave from uh the black panther and then they had some of the a little bit of the older waves the captain marvel the they also had um they actually had a decent amount of the thanos build a figure wave like uh, what I showed you in the last last clip from my other GameStop, they had, I think, um, Citizen V was his name. They had a Hercules. They had uh, Ronin, uh, which is pretty cool. But I was about to pick up Ronin, but he's $22.99 at GameStop. And then on Amazon right now, he's like $19 bucks plus. So I could probably just get it whenever, like, not necessarily whenever I want to, but whenever I feel like like I actually want to pick him up. So as you can see here, I, was, I picked up the Night King. Um... I saw Jon Snow in one of my targets, and I saw Viserion in uh, the couple targets I've been to. So I want to see if I can collect maybe this whole set, maybe go back for the Jon Snow, and then, yeah, get Arya and Daenerys if I ever see them in the wild. So, yeah, Night King is what I picked up. Um, from my local comic book shop, I picked up the Doomsday Clock issue number 6, issue number 7, issue number 8, and then issue number 9. So... Um, up well once I do read this I am going to be up to date with the Doomsday Clock series it's been pretty good so far I read one through five and I believe issue 10 comes out I think at the end of this month and then the last issue or the last two issues 11 and 12 come out uh, in the summer so put that to the side and then I also picked up one more thing uh, just just for SNGs I picked up the Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds pack. I think this is the most recent uh, set to come out. So this is Pokemon uh, card set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 11 cards. But it says here, 10 additional game cards. So yeah, it says 10 game cards, but I got 11. So yeah, you know, this this, this, this is actually pretty fun. It was, um, it's kind of like a gotcha system for video games if you guys uh see if you guys i don't know when this is going to upload but i recently recorded a uh dokkan battle video for a summoning and uh i play dokkan i'm a huge dokkan fan so yeah uh this is kind of like the same thing you never know what you're gonna get so card packs this is pretty cool this is my first one um there's nothing real special in it so i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not but it's cool you know just for just for fun, just to see if I was going to get there. So Night King, Doomsday Clock, rest of the issues, and that's going to be it for the haul. So yeah, it, it, it's fun looking for Legends again. Uh, I was looking for a Beast mainly, and I couldn't find anything. So yeah, that, that's, that's going to be it. If you guys are enjoying the video, if you guys are enjoying the hunt, please let me know. I will continue probably doing hunts now. Now that I, want, I picked this guy up, I'm going to continue the set. And... Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much going to be it. I don't want this video to run on too long. So thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for watching the channel. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing. Please like the video. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.